Hi everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome to another video. We've got quite an interesting case here. This is an infection of the outer ear, but it's not a bacterial infection like you might be expecting. It's a fungal infection, what we call otomycosis. And this sort of white, furry, fuzzy material that you see growing on the ear canal and on this large boulder of wax, that is the fungus. And you may be wondering, what type of fungus is this and how could this possibly occur? And in terms of identification of species, it's quite difficult to, to do that with certainty without actually taking a piece of it and sending it off to a lab for investigation. Um, and the reason is that the mycelium of various funguses look very similar. Um, however, um, in terms of otomycosis, you usually see either aspergillus or candida as, as the types of fungus that will grow in an ear. Um, and you can get Aspergillus niger, um, Aspergillus flavus or fumigatus, and then Candida albicans is obviously the a yeast um, that can grow in various parts of the body, uh, including the ear. And you'll see, just as I drag out this large chunk of wax, you'll see on the underbelly of it um, just how much this this uh, this fungus has proliferated. Um, and in terms of why does this occur, so there you can see just it's it's completely covering the underside of this wax and you'll actually see more uh, more of the growth in the ear canal. In, in terms of why it occurs, um, it's difficult to pin down an exact reason, but what we do know is that otomycosis is more common in hot, humid climates. It's also more common in people who have compromised immune systems, diabetes, um, or if they've used lots of antibiotic drops, which will disrupt or knock out of kilter the natural flora of bacteria that live in the ear canal, and therefore that gives the, the fungus an opportunity to proliferate. Um, and both Aspergillus and Candida are, are opportunistic. So in other words, they're all around us. They're on lots of different um, surfaces. They can live on our bodies, and usually it's not a problem, but if the conditions are right, then um, you know both types of fungus will will grow and proliferate. Um, but this is a fairly good outcome for the patient. They're now in line for antifungal drops, and they'll be followed up.